<laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Busting Balls. I'm your host, Eric Pinnell. OW20 is my squirt. I do man shit and it's 100% why I don't podcast. I'm here with the very funny uh, Brian Christopher. With a Y. Brian Christopher with a Y. Yeah. You never heard that? Yeah, Brian Christopher. It's with, a white-owned podcast, This is a white-owned podcast. 100% white-owned podcast. It's not, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, it's 100% white-owned. No, I'm you, not. You've jumped on here quite a bit. Yeah. But. Yeah, are you like the unofficial co-host now? This was my this was my first podcast I ever did. Me and Eric did it in your car outside of cigars. Yeah, yeah. you were like, "Let's do a podcast. You got to do a podcast." And I was like, yeah, "I don't know. I want to do." Dude, I was trying whatever. to tell this guy to do a podcast for the Giovanni Diaz of Lobo Den. Also, yeah, I didn't introduce podcast. him. Yeah, with, love his podcast. Dude, got the best podcast in Chicago. He's this so guy. So busy now. I haven't been able to. Even this get guy's on a his professional. Podcast. You know what? For being so dysfunctional, you're very professional, dude. Yeah. Like seriously, he attacked the podcast game. Like once he jumped in it, he really did. I, I mean, it, he ran it like a pro like he ran it like a business like yeah. and, and that's how you're supposed to do it that yeah. that's how you're supposed to do stand up like you're supposed to run it like a business people don't realize i'm supposed to but i, I have the work know. mentality of a spick so okay he Mexican. said it i did it yeah yeah no yeah, but that's yeah. how i work you know what i mean like it's very I might, smart i'll outwork you, you yeah know I mean? for the most part now yeah. a little bit more laid absolutely back or whatever but i need to cut more clips i haven't cut more clips that's what i gotta do every but week dude, I have a clip he, he it, look, first of all when I he first like started see lobo done clips all the time i know but every week there should be a clip every fucking week absolutely he's right multiple clips it's it's a business but but he attacked it instantly like he like he he was paying for a studio I remember he was telling me like, yeah, I'm paying a guy to do the studio and do everything. Right. And my bum ass was in my head was like, why is he doing that? I don't, you know, it wasn't like I, I wasn't upset about it, but in my head I'm going like, at first I'm like, oh, okay, he's doing that, and I'm kind of doing the math. No, it's a smart thing because it worked out instantly. Because then it's like, boom, he gets a professional uh, look on it. He the clips uh, the clips, and, and then he how he attacks guests. He'll, he'll, I mean, not attack guests, but how he, he goes out and gets guests. And stuff, and then and then you look. He's got a fucking like he instantly had a website. He, he, he right. dude, smart man, best 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 like, podcast in and, Chicago. And every guest, Hands down. I, for the most part, there's times where it's like fuck, I don't prepare, but I prepare for like every guest, and I have my yeah, little note prepares, and, and I don't necessarily have to attack it. Some guests are just nothing happens. I don't even have to go to my notes. And, yeah, it just it goes like that. And know? and one thing that you do also, not to kiss your ass, I'm not trying to jump. You know, I, I'm not you know I'm not planning that at all, at all. But what I'm saying is another thing is real real dude. Real dude. Because so, oh, yeah. nowadays, dude, this guy knows what I'm talking about. There's comics that won't even go on podcasts because they're afraid to say something that they might get canceled in the future for. It's like, you're a nobody. Say, what are I, you worried about? I have about? an episode I, I can't, can't release right say, now. Yeah, oh. I can't even say that I've never felt that way because I've been like, everybody feels that way. And then, yeah, I have to think and remind myself, I'm nobody anyway. Yeah. These podcasts, but, but you always do worry that down the line. Yeah, people listening, they don't realize what that comedians up, are always Shane worried Hillis about moment. You know. Somebody possibly cancel yeah. them in the future or don't say, th dude. I watch TV in the mornings and, and sometimes now the morning people say something. And I think, right. oh, that dude's gonna get in trouble for saying a nothing thing. So right. th that's it. Y yeah, I do feel like that. That's uh, something that I used to worry about more. You don't worry I've, about that too much. No, because I, I I've realized that I'm probably gonna only ever achieve marginal success. Don't like, say that's, that. That's that, no, that's, that's that's fine. not. That's I know you're joking about want. that. That's that's kind of what I want. I don't ever want to reach the the. He's like, saying he's joking. He's no, saying no, that no, this no, guy no. keeps getting better and better at, at all things. No, but talented the, dude. I, I have a lot of different things I do, but that's the thing. I have my 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 eggs in a lot of different baskets. Sure, comic, musician, and rapper. I, and yeah. The problem with that is, is that you stretch yourself. To, I'm too much of a renaissance man, so I, but, I don't focus that ten thousand hours. Possibly, but that also argument nowadays there's so many people like switching gears on so many things i mean you know it's like yeah. nowadays dude think about it like most comics like dude uh sam kennison which he could have done that uh yeah cigars and stripes best wings oh, in america best right here man country. excellent yes thank you yeah but but you know somebody like kennison or all those 80s comics like dice not saying they couldn't have done it then if the te technology wasn't there but dude they had to be a stand-up a, a murderer, right? right? Nowadays, you gotta kind of be a murderer. You gotta be a podcaster. You gotta fucking TikTok. social media. Yeah. You gotta be a TikToker. You gotta, you gotta, TikTok. you, you gotta put your life in, in, on the the world of the internet, and then hope you don't piss somebody off. It's like, dude, impossible. I'm putting my whole shit out there, and and you don't think I'm gonna make anybody upset? Absolutely impossible. It's ridiculous, I don't, man. You know, except for maybe my job and things like that. I kind of, I don't care. You know what I mean? So I'll say the allegedly yeah. stuff and things like that, but I don't. It's funny. It's hard to cancel me because I say this is who I am and this is kind of what I'm known for, and I can say whatever the fuck I want. So I don't. You started off that way. I, I, that's already but never changed. When you don't start, when you yeah. start like if you're, let's say you're a goodie, and then you say something, it's like, what are you gonna? I mean, 
What are you going to say about it? It's all out there. You know? and, and, and you know another thing that... That's uh, what I am. It's also with social media in general, not even comedians, but a lot of things that like comedians say, it's all tongue-in-cheek, dude. They're joking. You're saying it. It sucks that we, that we know this. That that you're just saying it just to get a reaction out of somebody that doesn't necessarily mean that it's like in you know in your operating system you're just, you know I was thinking about the other day and, and this is like a basic thought that that's already been thought out but a lot of people on social media they're just they're, the ones that say the outrageous stuff all they're trying to do is just get attention that's all they're trying to do is trying to get eyes it's likes and somebody to go look thing. at them and whether the reaction is you're trying to get attention by getting a reaction so it's not genuine a lot of it a lot of the outrage of like can you believe this person said this it's a lot of it's not even it's not even right. genuine Tomorrow, they'll night. forget about it and move on to the next thing they're pissed off about they're it. always they're, they're always hunting mad. right where's the next thing to get mad about yeah if you're getting canceled today the best thing to do that's what they tell you like look at what happened to like Chris and those guys yeah he just disappeared for a they while they hunted every one of those guys first of all they're hunt they they, they don't know. they don't stop hunting Rogan they they hunted Brian uh, Callen they'll never they, stop they hunted Chris D'Elia, which look I don't know if they did wrong I don't know everybody always seen what that video with Callen? I was watching um, some about like, no, I know what happened it's so always assault rape. stuff yeah, yeah it's yeah, always rape. like inappropriate yeah, conduct it was yeah. a girl that I know he was having a relationship with because I was watching it this morning I was watching the reaction of uh, uh, Schultz, Andrew Schultz, because he called him right after it happened. Really? So Brian Kellen got accused of rape by some girl. Really? That's what it was? He got accused of rape. Yeah. And then, and then by Schultz, the police? By the girl. There was, girl. I don't think there was any charges ever pressed. This stuff posted Dude. online. Yeah. You know. And I, then, so, no, so Schultz calls him right away. He, I was watching the clip today. He calls him on the phone? He calls Kellen on the phone, not on the podcast, but he calls him and he talks to him, hey, because he was his friend, like, so what happened? And he gets on the podcast. He's like, look, I talked to... I talked to Callan. Basically, Callan told me, like, I was I didn't do anything, but it was a girl I had a relationship with for, like, five years. Something yeah. I would sleep with. She And then she had, I think she had a boyfriend or something like that. And uh-huh. then eventually it stopped. And then they did roles in movies. And that's kind of what the relationship was. And then it came out like, oh, he raped me. And then it came out. Some other girl was like, oh, I was in a room. And he kind of aggressively put me against a, a wall or something like that. Yeah. I don't know what happened with it. I haven't. Since then, yeah. But I was just watching the clip this morning. Have well, dude, on. it's like I've said also, man, for years. If if you're gonna swipe right and hook up with somebody uh, two hours later after you swiped right on them, don't be surprised if there's freaking <laughs> you're gonna have like me too type of stuff. You guys are doing creepy, you know. I mean, it, it's not like you went through a normal relationship. Yeah, you know, you gotta pick your battles, man. If you're Speaking in the spotlight, of, stay away from. There's, like, a, there's a song. It's hard, right? There's a song. Have you guys? Oh, we can't yeah. pull up the song, but yeah. people look it up. Mm-hmm. I want people to look up the song. You know what? I'll look up the lyrics right now. Um, One in a Million by Guns N' Roses. Do you guys know that song? No, I, I don't know. I don't. I sounds One in a familiar, Million. One in a Million by a Guns N' Roses. Uh-huh. No, let me let me pull it up. One in a Million. Hold on. I sent the lyrics to I think my girlfriend yesterday. Is that about friends. how many fucking women Axl Rose has banged? Or so yeah. I was watching a doc. I went to go record Susanna's podcast. She started. I was uh, driving over there and I was yeah. watching something about um, uh, Susanna Ax- Rodriguez. Yeah. Right. That I was, was on the podcast. Something couple. about. Uh, Slash, I didn't know he was half black. Yeah. So Slash, you didn't know Slash was half black. What no. do you think he was just like a dirty white guy or I something was like a that? Jew or something? Just I don't know. Just, just <laughs> yeah, just maybe. He kind of looked Israeli. Oh look, that's <laughs> yeah, porn, porn, porn. <laughs> yeah, he kind of oh, looks like look that. Uh, this is me fucking a flashlight this morning. I'm not gonna. Um, getting it in, dude. You fuck you know? flashlights? I got it for Christmas. Oh Jessica my god, who me. got your girl? Got you a flashlight for Christmas? Yeah. He's just trying to. No, she got me a flashlight, a heater, spicy, a heater, so I can put it on and heats it up. And then heater. God, how corn, much did that cost? Like a heater for a flashlight? Like it's, it's basically like a, it's like a diesel rod. truck or something like that. You got to fucking <laughs> plug it in or something. That's ridiculous. You put it on there and warms it up for you. Okay, I'm gonna read some of these lyrics. He's all right, accessories. I'm not gonna say the flesh, words though. Flashlight. Police and N words hard R. That's right. Get out of my way. Don't need to buy none of your gold chain today. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, those, Amic- are go- those are Hold on. guns and roses? I had no idea about it. Well, yeah, this is like tongue in cheek. I mean, also, it's music, right? Immigrants I mean- and F words. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? They make no sense to me. They come to our country and think they'll do as they please. Hold on. Like start some mini Iran or spread some fucking disease. They talk so many goddamn ways. It's all Greek to me. Radicals and racists, don't point your finger at me. It's a small town white boy just trying to make ends meet. So what happened was um, Slash, they were talking about Slash. It was a little biography I was watching, and they were talking wow. about a, a song. They got an argument with They didn't want to release Slash. He's half black. Like, I don't know if we should release this song. And Axel's very stubborn. Is it that song? That song. Yeah. yeah. One in a million. <laughs> Axel's like, no, I want to really. But I guess the context of it, it was, it was Axel trying to be like, look, I was, I was an ignorant 
white dude from the Midwest, yeah. from a small town, Lafayette, Indiana, and I came here, and then I grew. And up. you're talking, I mean, what was that was like? That late seventies, early eighties, also. Like 88, I think it was. Uh, yeah, but I mean, but he probably wrote that song possibly before eighty eight, though. You know. Yeah, it was. It was like. Is it like a retrospective on himself? Like he's kind of tongue in cheek, like talking about how he used to be, kind of thing. Not like, in the song. Used so I don't know if it was like. But yeah. I guess that's. Uh, I was looking at the comments, and that was kind of the perspective of the song. But I like, but they re-released uh, Appetite for Destruction, but not with this song. Really? Because I was listening, I was like, controversy because of some racial things he said. And I was like, what racial thing? I've never heard of this. Yeah. So I look it up right away, and I start reading yeah. the lyrics. Oh, I was hilarious. Yeah, yeah. But, dude, right there. you could go Front through center. a lot of lyrics, dude, on a lot of music throughout time and go, the whoa. The 70s. If you listen to any, even nowadays, and in Mexican music, Adam Crowley used to talk about this. There's Dude. so many songs about trying to fuck underage women. That's it, too. It's That's the one. Yeah, That's yeah. the she's one. She's only 17. She's only yeah. 17. Yeah. What's that, Kirby? She, young she's girl? My cherry pie. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I pull up the lyrics of Young Girl. All those um, hair metal bands are doing fucking no, songs. No, this is, what is it? Kurt, not Kirby Puckett. Yeah. That's a baseball player. Um, well, dude, what, those David girl? Allen Coe songs. You ever heard those David Allen Coe's? Were straight up yeah. racist. Yeah. And they're still on YouTube. There's Wait, a couple I played for my wife, and my wife was looking at me like, what the fuck? There's this one song you can't find on YouTube anymore. It's by that one. Neo-Nazi white supremacist band. Do you guys know what I'm talking no, about? No, I don't know any neo Nazi. Because Nick DePaul used to play the clip of their song. Really? The song is called White Power. I'm Mexican, all right? I'm not really? Racist. That racist. But uh, it's called, yeah, White Power by... Oh, it's like not White Power, power by... <laughs> <laughs> how do you even get that? How, like, if you're a band, you go, look, I got this song. It's called White Power. You know, like, it's do like... You who remember even- uh, Dire Straits even said, uh, in their big money for nothing... I, like when their lyrics is like that little faggot is a millionaire. Yeah, yeah but I forever. think they were. Like, I think yeah. th- in that term they were like. I don't know. Man. They, they were. Like they the were 80s. saying the f word. They were talking about like Dire Straight though, right? They were. They were talking about. No, I mean ta- they were. Were they talk? Maybe. Oh, well, like they're talking about themselves. Yeah, like somebody's talking, talking about them. About them. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, maybe. I don't. know. I think I, so. But I remember like hearing that, and and you hear it sometimes at a club or in the store, and they don't even bleep it out. Like I'll, really? I'll be in the middle of the mall. Or somewhere and hear that song come on, and they don't even bleep out. Yeah, it. yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, it's in there. You know well, what? that word Whatever. was thrown around pretty freaking easily but for a like, lot of years, yeah. dude. Up until like a couple years ago. I mean, they, I know still some people still throw this it around. Guy who still uses it in Kansas, uh, uh, the Westboro Baptist Church. Really? Oh, the no, Westboro <laughs> Baptist Church. Yeah. Yeah. Those guys are crazy, dude. Um, no, but anyway, <laughs> look, here's some of the lyrics. Uh, what's his name? He was, you know, he he was a lawyer and he helped represent. He, uh, Board versus the Brown education or whatever, like mm-hmm. civil rights case. He was like on the civil rights side, and then he took a weird turn to God hates F's. Yeah. But, anyways, what do you hear? It is young girl, get out of my mind. My love for you is way out of line. You better run, girl. You're much too young, girl. With the charms of a woman, you kept that secret of the youth. You led me to believe you're old enough to give me love. Now it hurts to know the truth. Hold on. These are beneath, oh. beneath your perfume and makeup, you're just a baby in disguise. And though it's wrong to be alone with me, that come on look is on your eyes. This is what's his name? Uh, what's his Gary Puckett or whatever? Yeah. Who is this? This is like this is like in the fifties yeah. or sixties, dude. Yeah. This is like oh, that the was Motown era. Like that. You know what I mean? Like yeah. so was hurry was home to your mama. I'm sure she wonders where you are. Get out of here before I have the time to change my mind. Because I'm afraid well, it will Elvis go too far. Was known for fucking around with 15 year olds. Yeah. And shit what's his name? Married his cousin. She was 13. Jerry Lee Lewis. Right? Yeah. Jerry Lee Lewis. Nasty. You guys Still. ever been with a cousin? No, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, even what? if I was, Have you think I'd be. No. Have I ever Never. been with my cousin? Never. A cousin. No. I just think you're a cousin. That's the first cousin oh, talk. A cousin. Like yeah. A third or fourth. Oh, like a third or fourth. I don't know if I know them all that well. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why do you say it that way? Because you're saying like a third or fourth cousin, it's like game on or something like well, that? No, because then you might not not have blood relation but like i don't know enough about my family history to know if like i've ever hooked up with somebody that might be somehow that's a christopher <laughs> well, white, people, white people get their families very like small right. nuclear right yeah it's not like right. us latinos where it's like so i used to was dm yeah. this girl i didn't know she was my, i had a joke about it i didn't know she was my cousin yeah so i was in her dms or whatever but then her last name i was like this is kind of like is she from the town she told me she was in the town my parents were from or my dad was from, and I asked my mom, and I was like, <laughs> and I messaged her, I was like, this is my cousin. She's like, no, but then two days later, she calls me, she's like, no, that is your cousin. I was like, oh, I my God. I didn't do anything at that point, but I, I, was, did do it. I yeah, was about lo- to, I was ready. Yeah. I was ready oh to pounce, my dude. god! Yeah, you're like a dog off a chain, dude. You got to watch this guy. What Two days, I'm if, surprised. Like, your family found out that you hooked up with your cousin. You it's it's. Well, I would never hook up with a. Ugh, even not saying like a, it grosses not me like out. A first cousin. That's even saying it disgusts me. I'm a nasty motherfucker, but that shit, I'm not down with that. Yeah. 
bought like a. Well, your kids, if you have kids with them, they're going to have like floppy ears and stuff like that. Yeah, and like, you got to come on their face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're, that's what they're going to have, dude. Yeah. I, mean, I thought those are the ones that you just so, leave in front of a firehouse or something. There was this really hot chick that I. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they still do that. They still leave ki- like babies in front of firehouses and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Know, right? You know what I haven't heard You've lately is that? where they throw a baby in like a trash can anymore. <laughs> you don't ever hear that story no, anymore. You just leave them from a firehouse. And dude, then dude, rest dude. Did you hear that story? I, I talked about it last night on the podcast. Was uh, that, that that teacher that put cum in the cupcakes? Yeah. And served it to the kids. What she got forty one years. Forty one years, cum dude. In a cupcake. She, yeah, she put cum in the cupcakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't trust yeah. people, dude. Like, yeah. let's say allegedly, like, like as the cream, as the cream. I, I, I don't know. She put it the in the ingredients. The, the ingredients. She put, put it in the ingredients. ingredients. Her husband. Her husband's cum, right? Did the yeah. husband what know? The yeah, he knew. Fuck? She tried to say that he's the one that told her, but you know what? You had first of all, she had to freaking me. ice it. And then she had to freak. She had to ice it and throw sprinkles on top of it. Throw it in a carrier. Take it to school and then hand it out. Yeah, so she for, must have really hated those fucking kids, dude. Awful, right? That's rough. Makes you think if any teachers did that in the past, where you go, oh my god. Now I'm wondering what is wrong like, with when people I was growing up. Let's just say one time I was with a girl, yeah. right? Yeah. And she was on some website. Or, <laughs> oh yeah. You know what I mean? Like maybe not a dating website, but a pervert website. Yeah, pervert and website. And then somebody Girls. found her on the website. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And then I don't trust that person anymore. Like, like they if they make your food or something like that, I'll tell them, look, man, like this dude, you know, like he has a thing for you and he's making your food. He works somewhere, right? A restaurant. Mm-hmm. And oh, it's yeah. like, you know, like he's going to get off on putting putting cum in your food. Like eat at your own risk. But like now, you know, what, what, like, hold on here. I'm, I'm not following the storyline here. So you're saying okay, there was a woman on a, on a website. Okay, Let's say you find out that you find some guy on a, on a pervert website. What's or, a pervert let's website? Say like porn? Finder, right. It's not that one. Chatter Chatter I don't even know if that's around anymore. Chatterbait. I, I don't even know what that is. God, I am so old. I don't even Chat know what roulette. you guys are talking about. Chat roulette. You know, like, oh, okay, chat roulette. I remember that. Like you find only fans. Kind yeah, you find oh, really? a dude you is, know. you know, like a perv. Like okay. your cook. At what a dude isn't a perv to. though? Like I mean, almost like nowadays definition. Most guys, if you let them go, they're going to be the perv, right? But there's a level. You find something out about him. There's like there's level of perv where it's like I don't want this guy cooking your food because I believe mm. there's a good chance he's going to put cum oh. in your food. So you're saying okay? It. So you're I'm saying like, an untrustworthy, creepy guy. Yeah, is, that yeah. probably doesn't have limits. Yeah, and is a co- is going to is he get the cook at the restaurant you're going to eat? What percentage of cooks in America? Nothing against cooks in America because I know there's good ones out there, mm. but I mean, but now you're specifically targeted versus right now. I don't think that cook would just put. Oh, unless all these cooks are just putting cum in all our foods and we don't know it for uh, years. You know what I mean? Because now people, I mean, there's a good chance at some point in all of our lives someone cheese? is fucked Let's with see. our food. Let's be realistic. Absolutely. Someone is spitting our yeah, food is, at oh, some point. Absolutely. Yeah. There's no, no way no, that kidding. we've eaten out all these years and that there's not been fecal Without matter. irresponsible, like, yeah. food. F- yeah. Fecal matter, even inadvertently. Like, some guy scratched his ass oh. in the kitchen, and now it's on top of Dude, I used chicken. to work at Domino's years yeah. ago with the How guy the that used to spit know? in pizza, Domino's pizzas. He yeah. used to spit in them. They'd be like, this fucker doesn't tip, and he'd, like, hocker in it and stuff. I go, oh, my yeah. God. But even, like, what inadvertently, you? you just have a lot of people that are fucking unsanitary pieces of shit, and they're, like, digging in their nose, wiping their fucking face. I know. You know digging in their pants, scratching their Ugh. fucking sack. And then all of a sudden there's a pube in your fucking salad. Uh, I try to let it bother me. Like, if I don't you can't, know, you can't I'm, think you can't, about it that much. It's like those studies that come well, out. It, it, there's it's, feces everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like your stomach acids will break. Well, it's almost like anyway. that thing where they say like most uh, like candy bar places like there's so much like rat this in it, rat that in it. You just go, you're yeah. never gonna be able to live well, your they life. They say once a year that you like the average person swallows like a spider or some shit. Or spider <laughs> <while> <laughs> really? So like you never know. You could be sleeping in the middle of the night and shit's crawling in your. Dude, mouth. I live out in the country now. There's spiders everywhere, a, dude. Like yeah, once a year. Like, uh, you you I guess you, you swallow, swallow bugs, a lot of bugs. Like uh, what's her name? Little Kim's worth a cum. Didn't is that remember the story? Mm-hmm. Then she had to get cum pumped out of her. Little Kim. Little Kim had to get cum pumped out of her. Dude, how, much, a- how much cum would you have to have in your tummy to fucking get it pumped though? That's ridiculous. I mean, that sounds like a Debbie Does Dallas situation. <laughs> the, game, you know, the, the Houston Five Hundred. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. Uh, rest in peace. I want to say this. Rest in peace to Amazing Jonathan. You guys, did you? Amazing Jonathan died, died today. Mm-hmm. He did died today. He's, he, I mean, R.I.P. I did see that, man. That was my parents, like, one of their favorite comedians. Dude, that guy's up. funny, man. What an entertainer, they too, dude. They always saw him in Vegas whenever they went there. God, yeah, he's been him. sick for the last couple years, yeah. right? I saw him my first time I ever went out to Vegas with my folks. Really? Was, like, Burns is doing, did yeah. a documentary on him. Who? I saw, uh, Steve Burns. No kidding, mm-hmm. dude. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Talented mu- magician and uh, comedian. Yeah. You know? 
just like no kidding. I saw him on Dude, they're board. all dying off now, man. Right? I didn't realize how old he was either, man. Yeah, like, hundred and four. I think you just he's one hundred four. Hundred and four years. Dude, old. they're all all that those is amazing. A lot of those comedians <laughs> when we were kids, man. They're all they're all. I mean, fucking Saget. Whatever happened to Saget? You get hit in the well, head with yeah, a fucking bat? Like there's, what? Uh, there's there's, there's it's still kind of up in the air. Probably go. I meant the jab. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. 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 Jab. yeah. What do you think? In the head. Well, they said it was like head trauma. Like he, they What's that about? They think he hit his head hard and then fell asleep. And they I got vaccinated, brainly. got a blood cop, passed out. My guess is died. that, Come on. here's my theory. What do you think? I think he had a woman up in that room. Oh, yeah? She thumped and, him on the head? Uh, she might have. Maybe things got a little too rough. Maybe. She bumped up. She gave him a little whack. Yeah. Because he was probably wanting to like diddle her yeah. in a weird way, or or maybe he, he was stiffing her. He had her, pay he, her. He had her dress as one of the Austin twins. You know, maybe he tried to rob him. <laughs> maybe sick. someone tried to rob him. No, who was the other one, Joey? Who was a? Um, hey, the other one the was Greek guy. the other one was uh, ooh, not uh, the Greek guy. The other one who I heard is an asshole. It was a in real hotel life. after a show, right? Stamos? Stamos. No, he's the Greek guy. The other guy I heard was an asshole. In real oh, life. the cut it out guy. The Coulier? guy who did the puppets, yeah, Coolie. Yeah, Coolie. Joey, I heard he's a cunt in real life. Really? Yeah, yeah. He, well, th- you know the song. Uh, he's by got Alanis, a lot of money, dude. Alanis Morissette's "You Ought to Know" is about him, right? You know yeah, I've right? seen no, her documentary. Yeah, I've seen her documentary, and she goes, "I dated a lot of guys no, in Hollywood." No, no, no. It was confirmed in an interview. Really? Her. Look it up. It's in there that she's literally said. It was about a comedian that I was dating that lived in Canada. Who the fuck else is she talking about? That was a famous Absolutely. comedian. John Candy. Absolutely. She was dating him for Yeah, a long John Candy. Time. Yeah, a lot of more set dated John Candy. Yeah, well, hey, good for John But, dude, Candy, all these comedians but... are dying off. Louis Anderson, which I get it, you know. Yeah, that part I do. And he was great on, uh, was it that basket show he was just on? Yeah, he was Did really he good on it. Yep. He won an yep. Emmy. Hey, look, he got to win an Emmy. But, dude, he Norm dying, awesome. Norm dying, that, that, that's that another hurt, one. That hurt really, for me, that specifically Nor- hurt very hard. That's my favorite comedian. Did, but but you know what? I felt like people like uh, put Norm on a higher, like a higher level, he's like the comedian, last like comedian, so many years. Man. He's like a, he's a comics comic. But but like know? ten years ago, I didn't think people were putting Norm McDonald up there like that. I feel like it's the last like All five, the six, seven, eight years. No, that that really? is the dude that is the funniest in the room, man. Whenever Did you hear the you, story about him fucking his friend's wife in front of him, or he's in the other yeah. room. You heard that one, right? Yeah, he did that I, on what Stern. What happened there? He, no, he what? Did, yeah, because yeah, he was like he had a you know he could didn't drive he was a degenerate gambler. Oh, I do remember yeah. reading about this in his because uh, I started reading his book that autobiography that he has the the autobiography. Yeah, he said it's like half made up, half real. Really, so I don't really know like what's real, and what's not. Is that is wait, wait, wait. That's yeah. like a good way to say yeah. like if you have a scumbag story, you go maybe it wasn't real. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. so allegedly, bullshit. It's allegedly. like own it, own it, own it. Yeah, but it's you know that's that's a total norm thing to do. Like I guess know, so. It's very. But, the odds are, if it's anything involving gambling or being an alcoholic degenerate, it's probably real. Probably real, right? Probably real. I mean, he was hanging out with Artie most of the time. Yeah. Right? Right. So, and Artie mm. confirmed a lot of the shit that they used to do. Like, the thing about him. You imagine uh, those two together? Oh, my well, God. Well, there's a rumor that he threw, uh, supposedly one night, he, he had $60,000 left to his name and he just uh, in cash and he threw Nor- it in the ocean. Yeah. Who, Norm did? Yeah, Norm did. He <laughs> threw it all in the ocean. How he, much money you got when you could just he throw just sixty wanted grand? To be, no, he wanted to be broke because he kept losing yeah. money, and he was just like, "I want." I've been there. Fresh. Addiction. I've been there. He's really? Like, so if I get rid of it. Wait, wait, wait. It'll would, end. Uh, That's crazy. Would, would you say? Would you say uh, you if being you in Miami? Access to, would, like, you don't want it there. You don't want access to it. Yeah. Like, you would you say phone. you being in Miami and and cash app and uh, uh, prostitutes for like a couple days? Strippers. Is that, uh, strippers, strippers. Is that a low point? Is that is that a low point? That was my rock bottom, but I say yeah, my, but but I, she least, is a stripper, but you're actually getting sex out of her, so it is a prostitute, right? Because you're doing a money transaction. I'm using the same thing. She was just dancing escort. on my dick with her mouth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Say yeah. escort. <laughs> would you would you think that was a low low point, or are you just like, nah, that's just part of it? What do you mean? All right, or maybe you're saying it for the listeners, but no, that was the low. That was my rock bottom. Yeah. So so you my, that changed so my you, life. That moment changed my life. For, how, forever. How long ago was that, right? So, July 15th, 2019. So Giovanni goes to Florida for pandemic. to visit your buddy, right? Yeah, you got a buddy, buddy down there? I visited, went to go help him out at the food festival, right? Yeah. They have a vegan place. And then we go, we leave, and I was like, all right, we go to this bar. I was going to roll two drink max. So I was already kind of cutting back on drinking. And yeah. I was like, two drink max. Because two drinks I could handle. Third drink was a question mark. Because if I had that third drink, uh-huh. I didn't know what could have happened. Yeah, I didn't know what's going to happen. Really? Before I knew my limit. Yeah, two drinks. So I had a two drink max. The problem is we went to his bar, and he used to work there, so the bartenders oh, hooked yeah, him up. Oh, yeah, they're hooking you up. Yeah, and they're like, and I was like, oh, let me just get a gin and, gin and a, a club soda. And then 
she loaded it completely, and I looked at it. I was like, holy shit. But it was a free drink she just gave me. And I was going to be like, hey, can you report that free drink and put, like, less booze in it? I was like, whatever. I'll just have this drink. What's the worst going to happen? Yeah. Ended up going to the strip club. But then that drink triggered it, and I wanted more alcohol. Then we went to this other bar. Let the wolf out the, the cage, ATM. huh? Yeah, Lobo out. came out. Came out. <laughs> Lobo came out. Went, went to the back with one of the strippers. He brought yeah. her friend. They're like, all right, let's go to our room. So I went with them. We went to. Hey, first of all, are hotel. these strippers hot or are they it just sounds, like strippers? I'm jealous. Yeah, one of them still like follows me. Yeah, they were hot. One of them still follows me on Instagram, but I never had sex with them. I only yeah. got my dick sucked. Yeah. I didn't penetrate them. I yeah. didn't. Allegedly, too much of a certain he, substance. You know what? You know what? You know what? Still, I've never you know been one with thing, a hooker. You know never one thing. Me either. You know. You know one thing that's uh, that's never talked about that women do have the strength. They they have this strength. They could break. They could open a can with a vagina. They, they they have this strength of like weakness on some most men. But like like they have this power that they never talk about. How like my wife always says like you guys are so fucking stupid. My wife would tell me like men are so fucking stupid. We get anything out of you if we really want it. Well, type if we're stuff. really horny, like type thinking. If we're really Probably horny, horny, the odds yeah, yeah, are but, we'll do well, dude. Much a beautiful stripper that she's already getting you know. naked. You, you know, you're already yeah. intoxicated and maybe right. on if things. There's booze, if there's how is that involved? not taking advantage? How is that? You know, like women are always like, oh, uh, well, this is like uh, they took advantage of me. This and this and this. How is that not taking advantage? Advantage of somebody I, that's on like, a substance, um, whether it's alcohol I like the or quote, others. Um, I like oh, the quote. it totally is. Definitely. What's the it guy is. from Wall Never Street? talked about. Ge- uh, Gordon Gecko, well, right? They, uh, they fool- called out Cardi B for that recently. A fool yeah, but she was is. robbing dudes. But I'm saying, like, women, like, it's like, look, like, if I'm already drinking, don't be putting your, like, thing on. But then they go with well, the men uh, like it and stuff of, like this that. Is, this is how I see it. This is how I see it. And I see it in the words of Gordon Gecko in Wall Street. Like, a fool and his money are lucky they even got together in the first place. Fuck them, you know. It's Damn, like buy everywhere. beware. Buy you like, you know, no. if you're a simp, you're a sucker enough to lose your money. It's a good point. Fucking lose it. Dude. You got a point. And I was a sucker enough to lose it. And so, I deserve so to look. So you, it. so you gather up a couple of these strippers. You guys end up in like a motel, hotel room. A motel in Cayocho, Miami, right? Yeah. You know, we get allegedly drugs delivered a few times. We're there until <laughs> five. Bro- my, the toilet broke at one point. Oh, we ran out of booze, right? We ran well, what's, what's a delivery drug dealer look like? Are they wearing like a pizza hat and stuff like that? Pull up with, <laughs> they should pull up with like a fucking, like a little uh, magnet thing on the roof, like a pizza hut or anything like that. That's <laughs> No, it's like a hot Nissan. Oh, Nissan. Oh, really? Most likely, yeah. You know, it's, young guy, old they guy. Try to look, oh, I didn't see him. If it's a good drug dealer, it's they not try to all. look inconspicuous. They don't want to, they don't show up in a flashy they car. They show up in like a, like wearing a bush. Like they, a, like, no, they show up in a <laughs> fucking Prius. They show driving. up in a Prius, You know, dude. you're driving, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. You're driving. You don't, you, you don't want to be conspicuous. You want to blend in. You, you want a, a family car or a minivan yeah. or something. Yeah. Like, yeah you, can't, you don't want to. You know, you ain't rolling up in a fucking uh, a Cadillac or some shit like that. You, you get pulled like over. Pimp, or, yeah. You get a fucking arrest and get a class X So it has to be the most obvious, like, uh, common car. Yeah, you want to be as common as possible. Fucking Nissan. Like, okay. You know, so it, so it starts, young it starts kids, pulling young, up? The younger the drug dealer, the stupider they are, and the flasher they get, and more like they get yeah. caught, right. and they have to learn. Like, I've seen it happen. Like, dude, really? Just driving around with fucking... You got to look like Jesse Pinkman and shit like that, right? Yeah, driving they, a bucket. Yeah, I look like a college they kid, on too, sometimes. Snapchat. You know, like in college, our drug dealers would come to the dorms just, you know, you just have your backpack on. You look like C. Buscemi that one in that movie we showed yeah. up as, hey, kids. as a teenager. Yeah. <laughs> Where's so, the new punk rock? So, okay, so you're in there. You're getting drugs delivered and stuff like that. It's been a couple days, and then you go through like a lot of money, right? Four thousand dollars. Four thousand dollars. So then I, I uh, that Ooh, night. That's a night. No, and it, the, this is where it hit me, right? So yeah. five p.m. We're leaving. We get out of there. Uh, I get dropped <laughs> off to my buddy's house. I they think I'm dead. They don't know where I'm at. You yeah. know what I mean? His mother in laws are. Situation. I walk in, my mouth is moving like crazy. They're like, what, oh. what do you mean? Like, what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you're jaw jacking? Yeah, so then. <laughs> my uh, mouth is moving. And they're like, oh, you want any, you want any food? And I was like, nah, I'm good. That's hilarious. I take a 45 minute nap. I get ready. He takes Appreciate me to the airport. I'm at the. When I get to the terminal, I just pull out my phone. I start looking through my bank accounts. Everything. I'm good. Everything's negative. And I'm like, oh, oh my that's God. That's when they fucking hit me. And I was yeah. like, I can't do it. And when I came back, remember, I didn't. I didn't drink for that rest of the year. Yeah. I didn't do any drugs for 90 days. 90 days. Women, I've ever, I've ever women, said I didn't do any drugs for 90 days. Like you put a. <laughs> actually, I only went 80, I only went 89. You know I mean? 89 days? Yeah, I only went 89. But yeah. at that point, the problem was the booze. I didn't drink. I forgot when I finally started drinking again. So you think the booze is the one that like, I know like the, takes. The booze was the one that I couldn't control. Takes the stop like, signs I, I off and stuff. I could do other stuff and be recreational with whatever. And I who had the no fuck problem like is it. doing like blow without drinking? Like I mean, really? is that true? I mean, I, I, I've 
n- only done it a handful white people of times. Do I've never been a huge fan of, of yeah. that shit, to be honest. Like, but you know, but 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 it works. It works yeah. well with drinking. I had an right? Adderall, Adderall prescription, so it's like I never felt the need to do that shit. No, really, so that was, was like a replacement like, for well, something yeah, like that. Yeah, I already had an upper, so like, why am I gonna do blow when I'm already like prescribed Adderall? It just yeah. makes no sense. So that Adderall like, give you any side effects or anything like that? Well, yeah, the crashes could suck. You really, know? And, but it also makes you want to drink more. Really, like, that's the thing. It makes you it's feel like, like you could keep drinking, mm. and it's and that's where it gets dangerous. Is that like you could be out <laughs> drinking and drinking and drinking and drinking? That's what Mexicans do coke. Yeah. They don't do it to do cocaine yeah. and get that's high. That's why my dad used well, to. They do you it know, to drink. Do it. You drink, you keep do, drink you drink, you do, and you keep your dad talks. Uh, Brian, your, your dad talks about when he used to do coke and oh, stuff to you. Oh yeah, man, my dad's you know my dad's cool, dude. Like he's like <laughs> he's, uh, he's I have a cool dude. dad. I have a cool dad. He's like you know he's 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 done a lot of cool shit. He's you know he's been on a lot of sports teams and stuff, and he never shied away from that. Stuff. What do you mean he's been on a lot of sports teams? He's a ba- you know he's a baseball player and stuff. Your dad so was a baseball play? player, not like not like a professional, but he's been on like you yeah. Know, he still plays baseball. So he plays softball. No, he did that. No, he plays ba- hardball. Dude, because my my old oh really? Because yeah. my old neighbor, uh, my hardball. old neighbor's like sixty five, and yeah. he played softball in Chicago for like a lot yeah. of years. And, and, and you would have thought he played for the Cubs, you know, like how he talks about no, it because they're no, really no. into it and stuff like, like that, that, you know. Like he was that. just a, he's a, <laughs> really. He could no, have they, went that yeah. way. He was in college playing Anywhere baseball. I was like, oh man, I'm gonna try for the Sox this year. Like, no, you're not. Bro. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. But he was around. So he's around that, dudes. Dude. He's around that. They're shit. traveling. He was in the 80s and the yeah. 90s. Oh yeah, it was and they're everywhere. Traveling. You know, he would go down to Florida and chew? play in. What did you? Or dip? It's called dip. Dip? Uh, no, he was never a tobacco guy. But yeah, he you would, think him? You think he's th- never a pothead? This is inappropriate, dude. You think your dad and your mom ever did coke together and oh, stuff probably. like that? Oh, really? I'm, I'm probably. You know, my mom. Yeah. My, my mom told me she was never a huge fan of that shit. She uh, she you said know, she dabbled, said, but was not her thing. Back in the she 70s, said, get the Polaroid out. You know, <laughs> it's the 70s and 80s. You, th- you think your parents weren't doing fucking blow or LSD or something? In oh, the 70s dude. And 80s? My mom and my stepdad had a whip everywhere. in the room. What the fuck's that about? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, you, it, ain't, yeah. you ain't got a whip in your room unless you were doing some fucking drugs. Like, yeah. You had to. They're been. doing shit, right? You know? I have a leash. I think <laughs> you the gotta, number one thing that lets the, the, the bat out of the cave is booze. Always. Always. Yeah, for me it was. With, it's like you can't have one without the other. Yeah. For me, I, you can't. It just doesn't make sense. You know, but uh, dude, Why do my wife and I last weekend, we were having drinks. We were having drinks, you know, after we put the baby down drink? and stuff like that. Just like, uh, I don't drink Whiskey a lot of, no, or... I drink like fucking like vodka now and stuff like that with like something in it, you know, like a little bit. But, uh, but my wife and I we were having drinks the other, like, like last weekend and I was telling her, I was like, God, now I know why people, they love drinking so much. I could just do this all day. Like I right. could just drink all day, but you can't, I got a, I got a baby, you know, you can't be a drunk all day, but I understand why people are drunks all day. Yeah, if, I understand it, why people do drugs all day too. I'm especially sure. if you're like it's single it's and you got you know nothing else going on. You got nothing else life. going on. If you have no girl, you got no kids. It's like it's very easy. And if you're a comic, you're out in this world all yeah. the time. I've had to take you know by yourself too. Months. Yeah. By yourself too. That like a lot of reason why comics have drug problems yeah. or drinking problems because they're by themselves in a hotel room. It's like almost like an airline pilot. Right. What are you they're, they're, do? they're Masturbate. You have you know, nothing you're to do. On Tinder, you're swiping, swiping, swiping. You're it's the one drinking, thing you know too you know. that when you get back yeah. to your room or wherever you're at, you could do that, and you're like, "This is like a normal in my yeah. life." Yeah. Let me just get a six pack and start, fu- or a twelve pack and start fucking just tindering and getting random so, girls to come over. Giovanni, man, you got you got a baby coming March 10th. Uh, uh, estimated due date. March estimated 10th, due date. Is is the baby gonna slow the lobo uh, lobo down or what, man, or what? You gonna you, you gonna? You, of course, you, dude. Yeah. Like, right now, I'm trying to get in as much as I can. Like, I drank the other day. Yeah. Like, I have a week and a half. Sorry. It's all good. I have a week and a half to kind of get it in. Yeah, because like, it's coming. I mean, shit. And, uh, I mean, it's almost the end, of the end of February. Whenever I'm drinking this weekend and the, week, the day after or during the week, I drank during the week the other day. Yeah. Like, I've got to get it in before. Are you excited for it? Are you happy to, like, kind of get that part of your life going? Uh, I don't feel that she's pregnant. It hasn't hit me. No, but you know, another thing is, dude, it won't. Another thing will hit you in two weeks. Another thing will hit you is once the baby comes. Hit me twice. Yeah. There's there's phases to it. When I found out and when I went to the ultrasound. But, But what happens, one phase is, is when you have the baby. At first, it doesn't really. I mean, yeah, you see the baby. It took my friend eight months before. But like, taking care of the baby for now. like a few weeks, like maybe two months, maybe a month, mm-hmm. two months, and then something starts to drip in where you go, that, that, like that's my kid. Yeah. One like, of my best friends just had a kid. Yeah. This past year, and yeah. he was a party boy like me. He was in my bands all the way years back. Sure. My buddy Matt, shout out to him. He's an awesome, dude. Great dad. But it, that's the thing. He like didn't think it didn't hit him. It didn't hit him for the longest time. He was like, dude, I, you know, and then finally 
slowly but surely I've noticed that drop off of him ever wanting to come out and hang. Yeah. Like it's like he'll still once in a while, but it's like you just notice like he's just like, No, I don't I don't really have the urge to go out and party. Well well one anymore. thing is also if you go out and party Guess what? You got it. Like my son last night, he woke up. It doesn't happen a lot. It's like he'll sleep 20 days in a, like in a row. No right. problem. All night. And then like a night like last night, he wakes up at 2.30, uh, 3 o'clock, doesn't go to bed until 7.05. You know, luckily I went to sleep early and you wake up and, and I was editing a podcast last night while he was still up until 7 in the morning. Then I already start my day. Right. And then you're just like, fuck it. You just, He's just like, you know, it's, it's part of getting older, I think. It's just, you know. He, so that's why he doesn't go out and party, too. It's, that that's too. one of the I reasons. I mean, we're all in our 30s and shit, and, yeah. you, know, you know, pushing 40. And it's yeah. just like, how, how long are we going to be able to keep going out and just doing rails all night yeah. and fucking drinking? Yeah. And it until fucking right six or <laughs> I bet it does. It always sounds good. Yeah. But it sounds good on paper and in yeah. the moment. But then after the fact, afterwards. it's just like, psh, bad, bad news. Like, it's like, you know that the next 48 hours are going to be fucked. My next thirty six yeah. hours after drinking too much, I, I'm done. Yeah, you get hungover. You get hungover still. Oh, bad now. Really? I, like once How about you, Giovanni? You, are you drinking now or no? You don't drink? Hell yeah, I got drunk the other day. Yeah, what were you drinking the other day? Vodka. Well, Vodka. I, I like drink. I drank a little bit of whiskey the other. Day. I had my white baby. I told you we had segregated baby showers. We had the Mexican one and the white one. I had the white one Sunday. Really? Right. And this is the thing. Oh yeah. Uh, why people don't drink at their parties? It's the weirdest. No, thing. I know. It's the weirdest, dude. You, you know what? What's so it's funny so is, weird, dude. is well, when I first started dating my parties, wife, which no, is no, my wife's Mexican, and when and when she would tell me, she goes, "Yeah, we got to go to my uh, go to my cousin's uh, kid's birthday party." Like when I first started dating her, I'd, and I'd be like, "Fuck!" In my head, I'd be like, "Fuck!" I don't want to go to a kid's birthday party. Exactly but dude, Mexican there. birthday parties for kids are way different. They got yeah. fucking like booze. They got oh, like yeah. fucking taco guy came there, and she, they got all kinds of good shit. It's almost like uh, it's almost like an adult party, and there's just kids, kids there. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> it's the best, right? That's what I'm used to. And you know what, dude? That's the fun shit because that's when you see your uncles getting a little drunk. You know what? Though? I mean, I come from an Irish Jewish family. The dude. only we problem, though, I have there. to pull back my because uh, you know. the only problem is though I've gotten drunk around my nieces and nephews, so, uh, like my wife's side. Uh, yeah. My nieces and nephews a little too like I got drunk a couple times, kind of hard, and I'm talking to my nieces and nephews like there's some dude at a bar, like you know what I'm saying? Like you can't. You can't do that. And then I'm like, ah, you got to. I know. They, but, you know, but I know. But it's, <laughs> I mean, is, is that like a new a, age? It, it felt like it was a bad like look. There was always beer around at kids' birthday parties when I was Dude, growing up. Dude, yeah, I know. And I grew up around kids, drunk, the fucking drunk you men. Deal with the kids Are you white trash, maybe? Dude. Oh, well, I mean, we're Irish and Jewish. And, like, I mean, mm, it was just like, yeah. you know, it was I grew around. up around drunk men every, like, all the time. Like, I my, mean, my, I was definitely you know. one of those dudes where it's like, you know, Uncle fucking Teddy comes up to you. Oh, yeah, but here, take a little sip of the old style. Put a fucking hair on your chest. Yeah. You know, like, that's just the way it was in yeah. the 80s and 90s growing so up. So there was no booze, but my mother, my white mother in law, uh-huh. She got me a gift. She's like, I'm gonna get you a gift because nobody oh, yeah? thinks about like nobody thinks about the guy or whatever. It's all about. Uh, I, the I don't even like how guys have to go to a baby shower now. I don't. I had to go to my baby What's shower. I don't. I don't like it. What is it? It's all women. Up there? Well, they're all co-ed now. The ones we. Do I know, now. but there's only like three other dudes there that I barely know, and then then oh, like really? eyes are on me and shit. And I'm like, why my wife's opening up? It's like I shouldn't be here. I'd only be there for the mimosas. That's it. I just no. be pounding those down. I should not be here. I should be yeah. golfing right now. Leave me the fuck alone. See, at, my, at the Mexican baby showers, me and my buddies, we were all just kind of drinking and trying. Yeah, it's like going exactly. to my buddy's house and drinking. If and that's just, what we did. Is that what and I was like, we're drinking. Oh, we're doing the games. Back to the drinking. Oh, wait, let me got to go take some pictures. Yeah. All right, and back to the drinking and eating. So the dude well, I wish my wife would have got the, the memo on that. Well, they always not... separate. Like, at, usually, in, in, at that point, we got she together. She like, right next to her, like, oh, look at this little yeah. outfit. Yeah, and every little thing. Party, yeah, go, oh. The parties, the men separate, the women separate, and then the women talk to each other. And, like, they do that in Muslim countries, too. Like, it just happens naturally. Yeah. And at that point, like, we'll kind of mix in the table. And this one is a little bit more mixed. But usually, they start to, like, separate, separate. Yeah. And we're over here in this group drinking, talking to the guys, and the women are over there. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's always been like that. That's yeah. probably always been like that. What about you, Brian? You ain't, wait, what's up, dude? Like, you ain't ever settling what's down up? or what, fucking? man? Fucking? Yeah. Uh, you know, I get them tonight. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. Like, Do you have I, anything I, lined up on Tinder? Somebody already know? No, not Tinder. I, I, I talked. Do you have a consistent? Talked, you still get on Tinder? No, I recently started talking to somebody, you know. See the one? No, <laughs> I mean, well, we, I, I didn't mean it You're like that. Oh, now. great, damn, that's that came this out won't come really out quick. It was just hours. so quickly. Get it in tonight. 
couple days. It, it's yeah. way too soon to know that. Like, I literally just started talking to her like a week ago. And really? She's, you know. I knew right cool. away. No, I'm but, sorry to fuck with you, but yeah. I did. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it is what it is. You know, you know. Dude, it's way too soon. I don't, I'm not that guy. Like, I haven't been in a consistent relationship for probably two years since the pandemic. Really? You, know, you, know. you didn't have. That was like the time, like, wife. The pandemic, I was. This guy. I was fucking around. Uh -huh. I definitely, like, dabbled. You this know, guy, this guy's probably picking up streetwalkers during the pandemic. He didn't care at all, dude. No, no, but I did. I remember when this one well, that's, girl, she dude, was like, I, I can't you. come out. I came to your house. I was like, you know, my parents, COVID. I was like. I had fun in Florida. <laughs> dude, this guy, I, I, when COVID hit, I knew this guy wasn't going to die. Because this guy's got all, he had all the germs already in his body. He's got the best immune system in America, this guy. Well, they should have got, got the vaccine off or? your blood. Like, yeah. you know how, like, you get your blood and then you, like, hit it with my everybody else? Has, uh, uh, what is it called? Micro antibodies? Or yeah. Let's no, get out of here, he's dude. Trying let's, to, he's trying to eat his. Let's get. Let's wing. get out of here, man. Let's. Uh, what's up with you, man? Before we get out of here, what's what's new with you? Before we go, uh, man? yeah. What's going on with me? I'm still uh, doing the show at Ashbury every Thursday. Yeah, you know, and you still uh, doing a lot of comedy. I'm trying to get back out there in the field and start doing it. I still produce that show on Thursday nights. Uh, trying to get into doing some podcasting stuff. What's up with comedy moving forward, dude? You think it's you think now it that that Chicago's going to open up, it, it's going to just open back up? What do you think, Giovanni? You think it's know. it's going to be? Is it open again? It, well, they said February 28th. Chicago, like places like Chicago, are open it up, man. Yeah. So. You, th you think comedy's just going to go right back to how it was before? Oh, yeah, and then I mean, it's it's definitely already kind of back there. I see a lot of my friends getting shows all the time. It's just a matter of uh, putting yourself back out there and getting in touch with the fucking bookers again, I guess. Yeah. I'm but doing, I, I'm going to do a comedy loop, tour so. in uh, Ukraine. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> but I honestly Shit, good feel luck like with that. having a show like his or doing the podcast thing or having a sketch, you know, I feel like you have to be doing those other things like to stay relevant in the comedy scene. That's right. And then that you got to do it all. To getting on stage. Like I said, you got to do it. You got a podcast. You got to fucking do it. Yeah. You can't. It's, it's impossible. You have to run a show. You got to be here. You have to be like 80 different places at once in, in this. Fucking How about you, Giovanni? You done with you done with stand up? Because sometimes <sighs> I hear you say, I don't want to do shows. I haven't really done any shows. And you know, what? there's a freedom to not really having doing shows and having the podcast where I kind of don't. Yeah care what i say or who i talk to i don't have to be like yeah what i don't give you're a right you know what i mean i can say you're what the right. fuck i want because it's like yeah. oh, you're not gonna book me i don't give a shit i don't yeah because this guy told me a story fuck this off. guy this guy was gonna do a show one time and he was wearing the wrong t-shirt and they 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 said something right were you wearing a cheap t-shirt or something like that and they said you can't wear that t-shirt during this well, they want you to wear a suit is this is i'm trying to remember but like I, there's a point where I, I can kind of say and do whatever i want so and i like that freedom and then the thing is like going to a show driving and go like before I didn't I was in it. I was in the sauce before COVID hit March 2019. Yeah, that's all I wanted to do was stand up. But yeah, now it's like the podcast and other things. It's like and I haven't written anything. So I don't have that passion like I used to. If I get it back and I want to go on stage, I'll do it. Yeah, but I'm not going to force it. You know what I mean? So sure. it's like before I'm not going to drive. To fucking Mustangs. Yeah, you want to drive way out like hours to go to hours. Mike? Hours. Yeah, well, just you know, like the, an hour to go do a mic dude. and an hour back. It's just like absurd. If you're that's, doing that multiple times That's all times I wanted to week. do, but now it's like I have other priorities. That's another thing people don't realize. Like as a, like a stand-up, especially if you're at a certain level and stuff. It, it, all levels. I mean, but you'll drive hours to do like a show. And then you do the show. It goes all right. Maybe it doesn't go even great. Or even if it goes, good, it goes cares? great. Who cares? You drive back they and you go, what a, you. You, you, this little money or whatever money it is, you're driving back. Like, why did I even do that? You feel like you're high for a second. It's like getting a hit of dopamine. It's like literally doing a, line, a bump of coke. And mm -hmm. then you're just like, I fucking killed it. And then you go home and you realize none of it fucking mattered because that 25 people that are at Cigars and Stripes. Yeah. Are, are they going to fucking help you get booked for another show? Yeah. Probably not. Like, yeah. Not even well, you, you know, another thing is, too, the people that are moving tickets are the podcast people, the right. the, the TikTok right. people, the, you know, the Instagram maybe people or whatever. I mean, those are the people and that are moving tickets, shows, man. Like, now, be smart and have a fucking QR code and make them sign up on your Instagram, like, in front of you and give them Email something. List, yeah. Get them, like, get them to do it right there. Like, hey, here's the thing. I'll give You're saying that's the move. Do, do a QR be code? Smart. Be like a Like, cook. on these tables and stuff like that, no, where it's like... I'd say even go, like, here, sign up, do it right now in front of me, blah, blah, blah. Here's a Here's the thing. Here's whatever. Yeah. And they're that way you can there, email you? blast them yeah, when you have other shows. Yeah, get their info or whatever. Like, get their list. Like, be smart, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if you're going out there... You'll have those people next time, like, and sure. then you have those lists you want to produce. That is show. the smart move. And if you want to produce something, now you have these lists, well, you have these people, you yeah. have the power, you know what I mean? Perfect like, example. I saw Alan Ford complaining about bookers. Get get the strength back, you know what I mean? Get yeah. the power. 
get the list, have the list. Like, sure. you can do what they I pro, he well, because the shows, I can and, then, the shows. and then also you can do what they can do. People can do listening, it. what they don't realize is if you have the people that are going to come out, you get the power, mm-hmm. right? Because then, you, then you you know you do door deals. You don't even have to go to their right. club. You 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 rent out the money. venue that's down the road from the club, and you just you cut out the middleman. Exactly. That that is part of the move. Well. I was just going to say, you, what you were asking me what I was doing is like what I've been doing besides comedy lately. I'm actually getting into doing more. Uh, I've started DJing uh, part time at really? a bar and they've hired me to start doing bar trivia. Yeah. And like, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. And I'm going to start getting in with my buddy's bar trivia company uh-huh. that he's starting. Yeah. And, he, and uh, that's how he can. Well, because now that's coming back. Right. Because now more people will be going out again. And, and Summer's yeah, coming. And we were saying the same thing on the off nights you build and through the app. You get people's emails, yeah. You know, which that's you know, it's it's the clever well, marketing. Mike Yo built his stuff. You build, you build Absolutely. that email Dane list. Dane Cook, and you should be doing that for comedy too. You should always be building an email list. Dude, Dane, Ki- Dane Cook did the blueprint. Dane Cook did the blueprint when he did that with MySpace. Oh, changed the game. It, man. Doesn't he, you know what year, that man. that guy doesn't get enough credit just for that move that he did right there. Yeah, Whether you sure. like his comedy or not, or who he is. His that first album move was pretty decent. Yeah, it was good, man. You that know? Comedy Central special was good up. too. I think that first album, it's a funny guy. Up. But dude, but yeah. by him seeing like where it was going, where it was like, there's where it is, right there. He knew, you know. He knew. Look what Louis does. There. Look what Louis does now. Uh, you could cancel Louis. He's still dropping specials on his own. He was fucking already website. too famous. Yeah, he was too famous when he got canceled. There's there's gonna be too many people that already are on his side from jump. Yeah, there's gonna be people people that are same thing with Rogan. See, there's people that are going to go pay tons of money to see Cosby. They don't give a fuck. Yeah. He's already got tours. And he does. Books. Yeah, man. He and another thing that's crazy, that, another, which I, hey, look, I'm not against it. Whatever, man. I don't, I mean, it, it, look, it, what are I we, ain't dude, OJ him, Simpson is free in the world. Like, like, yeah. it's like, there's a murder. I would go see him for free, though. Would you go see Cosby for free? I don't know if I could see Cosby. For free. For free. He's I like think 90. Just, I'd watch it. I don't know why I would see him in person. You know what's crazy is how you got Louis Anderson dying and all these guys dying and Cosby's still kicking, dude. I right. heard every day somebody. Did you read the thing from yeah. the inmates? That were with them? <laughs> There's the interviews with inmates that were his cellmates or whatever. They said that he was like cracking jokes and doing material like. Every oh fucking really? Day Cosby's like running jokes he's in like jail. He's like running jokes. He's like dude, doing time while he's doing bad. time. What dude, a fucking that, so that's bad. a skit right there, dude. Just do it, doing like uh, doing Cosby in prison and stuff like that. Dude, you know, just doing fucking material. He's like doing ten minutes. You know what though? <laughs> in the lunch hall. <laughs> that's a comedian, do? dude. You get a crowd and you go, fuck <laughs> it. Let's start. Let's start or doing jokes. Do or whatever you say. Yeah. yeah, yeah let's get it. out of here, man. Giovanni, what's up, man? Uh, tell them about your podcast, Lobo Den, on your shirt right there, dude. Oh shit! Sure. Yeah, excellent yeah, it's podcast. It's one of the best. Follow the Lobo Den podcast episode. What is it? Every one three something yeah. something. I don't listen if you're yeah, Eric, podcast, but I listen episode to that one. something with Frank. Dude, Frank if you if you're a comedy fan and you want to plug into the Chicago comedy scene. Every comic or somebody that's involved with the comedy scene in Chicago has most likely went through his podcast. Yeah. And uh, so, so for comedy fans, huge, man, huge. Yeah. And other stuff also, but, like, especially comedy fans. You yeah, have it all. comedy fans. Every week, Love It and Podcast comes out Monday. Usually Sunday nights or Mondays. Um, so follow the Love It on Instagram, TikTok. Join the Patreon. There's an episode out. There's a guy. You know him, and I can't release the episode yet. Why? So I just released it on Patreon because he's trying to get a job, and he's all freaked out about. Yeah, that's what another I said thing, on dude. Then, I've had, I've had comedians call me and go, "Hey, man, that podcast we did, could you erase that or something? I'm trying to get a job." And I have, yeah. And guess what? Like fucking months later, I think people dude, are really gonna find it, dude. No, I know they're gonna find busting balls. Well, well, who knows? They search his name or something like that. But guess what? That guy that called me, like he called me like a year ago, and he said he was trying to get a job. I just was at Trader Joe's. Out in Orland Park, job. and he's working there. And I, when I seen him, he walks right up to me like, like, oh, happy. You know, I was happy to see him too. And I go, dude, you had to like, delete my job. podcast for a Trader's Joe's. Joe job. Yeah, swear to God. No, he goes, he was trying to get something else. Oh, this is what yeah. he had to get <laughs> because of your podcast. Yeah, that's it. My <laughs> podcast. Yeah, we're gonna Trader Joe's because of you. Yeah, because you. Busted yeah, balls yeah, but made Patreon, that man. there's one. I had to take off. His baby mama was attacking me, messaging me every day on Facebook. Really? So I had to take it. He messaged me, can you take it off? His please? kid's mother's attacking you. Yeah. She, Why? Well, they have a toxic relationship. She set him on fire, and we talk about it on the podcast. Wow, what a, what a surprise that the one that set him on fire, he that you now hospital. had to hide oh, his I podcast, now she's, now, she's attacked, now she's attacking you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's all that, that toxic, toxic masculinity out there. You know what I'm saying? That's that's. It's, I don't even have to say his name, but I'm already looking, and he knows what I'm looking at. Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> wow! That, so his baby mom was fucking sucks. attacking yeah, you and so stuff. And on a, um, Patreon. Wow. Patreon only. So go find out his F4, Patreon, guys. F4 guy. 
<laughs> hey, look, man, it was his fault. Fu- look, it's just like this guy right here. Like years ago, when I started becoming buddies with this guy, and he was telling me about his wild lifestyle, and I'm I go, and I, I would tell him, I'm lucky I didn't get one of those bitches pregnant. I would, like he yeah, did. Yeah, he I would no, because I told him, I go, because he didn't care. This lot. guy, this guy was taking bar hags home and like like hood fuck. rats, and I go, I didn't come in chicks though. I pulled out. I know, but I would tell him, I go, you better That's watch it, because one of these chicks that, you, that that is not like a good woman, you're gonna get her pregnant. She's gonna be stuck in your life for 18 years, and you don't want that. And I don't know if he listen. I'm sure he didn't listen, but I mean, he's a smart guy. Yeah, like like me, I've been through it, man. Even if we're smart, man, the thing is, eventually. At some point, this is going to do the thinking for you when you're we got the booze in you. And if you add drugs into the mix, then it's you know what, dude? I got a vasectomy in uh, 2019. I should have. And and it's actually not a bad idea. You know, for some men, I got an uncle that's got like six kids by like seven different moms and stuff like that. He he didn't have a license for like because they took his driver's license away for like 20 years because he was so back in child support and stuff. (laughs) <laughs> some guys like him and even like maybe even like like somebody like me even it's almost better to get a vasectomy and even pay to freeze your semen for like 20 years you'd still probably insurance. come out at a better better price i don't have health insurance i'm just gonna have some don't put it in balls. cupcakes yeah they'll put it in cupcakes <laughs> guys busted All balls right. podcast on most platforms uh it, it, whatever it's ow 20 is my squirt uh go find these guys and uh, if you like the podcast please share it if you don't i don't give a shit guys thanks for listening busting balls